Hello guys, it's your boy Gentil Garçon. I am back. Today we're gonna do a review of this phone. It looks like a iPhone 12 Pro Max. That's what they call it. It's actually a fake one. I bought it on uh, AliExpress. So I thought it was a, I thought it would be a fun project. So we're gonna do a review of the phone and also we're gonna see what the phone got inside. So guys, stay tuned, let's have fun with it. See ya. All right guys, let's go back to our fake phone. Um, the stainless steel frame is protected with a little bluish uh, protector. Just like the original iPhone, uh, the frame all come with a stainless steel, uh, which is pretty good. Uh, it makes the phone look really uh, nice actually uh unfortunately the this phone doesn't come with a solid ceramic shield glass right so we are cheap uh the phone is cheap so let's see what we have in the box we have a charging cord we have some earphones that comes with it and also we have a 5 volt output uh ac adapter as well as a manual the surprise thing that they add to the box uh, a protective uh, glass for your cheap glass of course right so let's go back to the phone the phone is running uh, Android version 10 but surprisingly it looks just like an iPhone right uh, my take on that that phone is slow right so Everything that looks good over here is not really good. And also he has a surprisingly good memory, about 500 gigabyte. Before going any further, guys, let's check the four cameras on the back on this phone. On the left side, I have the fake 12 Pro Max and on the right side, I have my old XS Max phones. As you can see, the camera is clear. The video is clear on the right side and on the left side, it is blurry. This is a sign right there that should tell you that you shouldn't buy fake iPhones, right? The camera quality is pretty low. Yeah, so the phone has four cameras on the back, but only actually one camera is working and the three others are obsolete. Guys, that's bad. So now let's go ahead and remove these two Penelope screws on the back, just like the original iPhone. This phone got painted up screws on the back, on the bottom. Wow, great. All right, guys, uh, we're about to go inside the phone and see what the phone got inside. So to my surprise, the phone is not water resistant. Right, because I was able to easily pry out the screen off the phone. Usually on the original iPhone, I use a heat gun to separate the screen from the frame. But this one is not water resistant. Oh my God, the battery is loose. Yes, that's another sign of, warning sign of a cheaply made phone. Battery is loose. So here we have a fake iPhone inside revealed. As you can see, we have our main motor logic board. We have a loudspeaker in the bottom. It's all connected with our volume up and down button. And also our power button on the side. Right, we have a antenna right there by cameras this is the front camera i was even surprised that this phone actually have a face id i tested it and it's work just fine right <clears throat> and the phone is running with a a9 plus uh processor guys this phone is slow i wouldn't spend my money on that uh, that's a real fake iPhone 12 Pro Max. I wouldn't waste my time with it. Just get you a Samsung if you cannot afford expensive iPhone 12 Pro Max, guys. 
Thank you for watching this video. Guys, comment and share this video and let me know if you would like me to uh, share more videos like this in the future. See you guys in the next video.